Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Today, we're staying right here at home and I'm gonna cook up a feast. And I'm gonna show you the types of foods I like to cook at home. So there's three dishes I'm making for you guys today. The first one is a classic, peppered beef. Anyone that's gone into a Chinese restaurant has probably had peppered beef or seen it on the menu. My peppered beef is a little different. You guys will just have to see uh, whether or not it resembles the one you like or not. The second one is mushroom chicken and oyster sauce. And the third one is one of my personal favorite, sweet and sour mala pork. And it's not the sweet and sour pork that you're thinking of, the breaded stuff with the super red neon translucent sauce that you see in the restaurants, no. This is a more authentic version of what sweet and sour pork really is. First thing we gotta do, chop meat, chop vegetables. So without further ado, let's go. Now I just chopped up a bunch of beef, uh, as you can see right here, and uh, while I'm chopping up the rest of the ingredients, I just like to add a little bit of minced garlic. And we're just gonna kinda mix that around. You gotta make sure the beef's pretty chopped into pretty small parts. Otherwise, when you put in the wok, it's, not, it's gonna take longer to cook and you don't want that. The secret to good Chinese cooking and that smoky wok flavor is uh, really high heat and uh, rapid cooking. Now that we got the meat all chopped up, I got the beef, the chicken, and the pork, and they're all marinating with the uh, minced garlic that I put on there. Now, we have to do vegetables. We got green onions, lots of green onions, mushroom for the mushroom chicken, peppers for the peppered beef. Peppers are chopped up, and then we're gonna do the uh, green onion. And I always like to split them down the down the stuff. They release more flavor that way. Okay, the veggies are chopped. The meat's chopped. Now all we gotta do is cook it. I'm sorry, but this right here is just not gonna do it. You, you just cannot cook Chinese stir fry on a regular home range. So here's what we're gonna do. This right here is a 210,000 BTU burner with a giant 20 inch wok. This is what we're gonna cook on. Vinegar here, oil, salt, MSG, some more garlic, some sugar, soy sauce, oyster sauce, some mala, hot chili oil, some eggs, um, and the mushrooms, we didn't need to chop because they're already pre-chopped. That's some bone broth uh, that I like to use to add to the uh, wok when the heat's really high. It adds flavor, and if you don't have bone broth, that's okay. Um, just regular water works fine. Okay, so we're in. We're going to throw in a nice generous portion of green onions and the mushrooms. I'm going to get some of this bone broth. Mushroom chicken. First dish is done. Got the wok nice and clean again. Next one's gonna be peppered beef.
Bird Beef. Sweet and sour mala pork. Got the pork. The wok is smoking. Sweet part. Here comes the mala part. It's generous helping the pop oil. Sour mala pork. Okay, so there's one last dish that I didn't say I would make that I'm gonna make, and that's chicken fried rice. It's a classic. Fried rice. Well, that is some good Chinese food. The mala pork, sweet and sour. The pork has just absorbed the vinegar from the uh, high heat. The peppered beef is just carrying that gooey sauce, the uh, oyster sauce. Mm. And in my bowl, all that rice has sopped up all the juices from all the different meats and the sauces and the spices. It was just one giant happy party in there. And I'm gonna leave it at that for tonight. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys had a good time. Um, if you're interested in cooking like this, let me know. I'll send you all the ingredients and equipment that you'll need. It's really not hard. I'd be more than happy to uh, give you tips and tricks if you uh, want to message me or uh, 
uh, send me an email. I'll, I'll leave my email address down below in the comment box. And as always, guys, if you like what you saw, please hit that like button. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss a single video coming up. I'm going to go finish my dinner, and I'll catch you guys next time. Toodles.